The Aaron Chair from Herman Miller. Business Week's Design of the Decade. And the official chair of Office Hockey. Available at Chandler. And first of all, Chase, let's start with uh, let's start with you. Uh, you're originally drafted into the Ontario Hockey League, uh, if I'm not mistaken, by the Erie Otters, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, you were released by them and made your way to the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, made your way over here to Moncton. Uh, I guess overall, I just wanted to get your thoughts on, on your time here in Moncton. And really, did you know much about the area when you were first when you first made your way out east? When I first came here, I didn't know nothing about the East Coast. For probably the first time I came out here, but the years in Moncton are probably my best years in junior so far, and I. Just had a great time here. Love the city, love the fans, the team. We had, obviously had two really good winning seasons, so it was just awesome. And uh, always look back on this time, it's good memories. Uh, Matt, let's uh, over to you now. I mean, you were drafted by the Moncton Wildcats. Your, your rookie season uh, ended up having to sit out the uh, the whole season with a bad knee, but then uh, you know made your way back into the Wildcats lineup the, your, your second year and, and spent some uh, three great seasons here. Uh, overall, how did, what what were your thoughts and impressions of playing in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League for the Moncton Wildcats? Uh, it was amazing. I uh, I can't imagine playing anywhere else. You know, it's a top organization. Me and Jace were down in the room and we were looking around and we were just amazed with. What we had as, as young kids and everything to get better was there and uh, we looked in the gym and they've made more upgrades in the gym and it's just just an amazing a first class organization. You know, certainly having uh, probably one of the best owners in the uh, whole Canadian Hockey League with uh, Mr. Robert Irving, uh, you know, looking after looking after you guys like like you were his own kids really. Yeah, there was basically no question if we needed something, he had it for us uh, with any reason. And, you know, you, you always felt you didn't feel like you were away from home when you were here with the billets and uh, the organization just being so close. It was a it was an easy transition as a young kid. And, and, and you know, Matt talks about uh, about being you know, away from home. I mean, he was from Prince Edward Island, really not that far of a jaunt to uh, to come over here to Moncton for his parents, but uh, for yourself, you know, your family back in Ontario uh, when you came into the uh, into the Wildcat family, as they like to say. Uh, certainly, uh, Mr. Irving uh, made you feel right at home right from day one. Definitely, he's one probably the best one I've ever had for sure. Took every took care of us. Anything we want, ever wanted, we got. I had great billets here. A billet family it was the best one I had in junior as well, and uh, I don't know, just a great time. And everything was taken care of. Nothing to worry about. And of course, it's nice to see that uh, you know the Moncton Wildcats held on to your guys' jerseys. You still had your uh, your name bars on the back of your guys' jerseys here, and, and Mr. Irving, uh, uh, you know, handing them to you and saying, you know what, take them home and hang them up. I mean, when, when you get a gesture like that from uh, from uh, one of the best owners in the league, it must it must say something about the uh, the owner and how great that uh, uh, he's treated you guys over uh, over your time here in Moncton. I mean, as, as I mentioned, three years for you, Matt, a couple of years for Chase here, and, and uh, just st still to see your name on, on the back of the Wildcats jersey must kind of be kind of uh, uh, surreal for you yeah it's it's pretty cool to know that uh, when you come back here you're not forgotten you weren't just a number that went through the system here uh, you know it's always how you doing Matt Boyle it's it's not you may he, you've developed a relationship with everybody here and uh, and they make you feel it and and same thing for you uh, I guess uh, next question for both of you guys uh, uh, both moved on to uh, University of Prince Edward Island Chase you've been uh, you've been playing over there with the UPEI Panthers now for a couple of years uh, all in all your impressions of playing university hockey here in the uh, AUS I think the AUS is just a great league, super competitive, every team is really good and every game just a battle. The level of hockey is probably a step above junior and uh, has pretty much all the best players from junior that don't go pro go play in the AUS. So it's always competitive and school is great as well so it's a good experience so far for me. So uh, how has your uh, your career been uh, in the AUS so far? Uh, you know, for some of the people who kind of lost track of where uh, some of you guys have ended up over the years, uh, you know, some of them, uh, you know, just kind of give us a rundown on how, how your uh, time in the AUS with the uh, UPEI Panthers has gone. Uh, we've been good every year so far. Keep getting better as a program. And uh, this year is a lot of things back to of us. And uh, we had two tight games in the playoffs and lost one nothing in both games. So the short season, only 28 games in the AUS. But uh, every game super competitive, so it's... It's good so far. And uh, I guess same question for you, Matt. Uh, how's the transition been for you from uh, from major junior into uh, into university life and, and university hockey? Um, I've, I've liked it. It's been a little difficult uh, getting back into school since uh, you kind of put school, not aside, but you don't, you're not as involved with school as you normally would be. Um, but as far as the hockey goes, it's incredibly uh, competitive. I, I was used to kind of being one of the bigger guys in junior and pushing guys around, but now I got to battle every shift, and there's, I can't take a shift off. 
it's a, it's a pretty good experience. As a team, we had a great group of guys this year, uh, very good leaders, and uh, I just couldn't ask for anything more. You go from, from pushing around from, to being pushed around a little bit, eh? Yeah, you definitely have to, uh, to work in the gym there because you're not playing against boys anymore. There's no 16-year-olds out there. They're all uh, 21 and above, so they're men now. Exactly. All right, guys. Well, uh, listen, thanks a lot for taking a couple of minutes for us. Uh, it's always great to see uh, see alumni players come through here. And, uh, and nonetheless, uh, 15 years of Wildcats hockey in the book, uh, it certainly must be uh, an honor to be a part of, uh, of history here in the greater Moncton area for, uh, for Moncton Wildcats hockey. Yeah, I just want to say thanks for including us in this uh, alumni uh alumni event and uh, we uh, hope to see this program grow and get some future prospects out of the team as well. Who knows, might be back here for uh, for the next uh, reunion kind of 30 years down the road and kind of do a, uh, you know, from year one back in 96, 97 to whatever year the 30th anniversary will be, I guess 15 years from now. I sure hope so. It's great to come back here. It's surreal just to be back here and see everybody again and uh, it's been a great experience so far. All right.